Shizandra contains phytoestrogens. Does that mean we should avoid this herb? Especially if you're a guy, does that mean you should avoid this herb? It's a little bit more nuanced than that. Now, Shizandra does contain phytoestrogens. It contains a kind of phytoestrogens called lignans. Something important to understand is that not all estrogens, and especially not all phytoestrogens, are created equal. They are very much ranging in strength. And so I would actually say it's great for people of any gender to have schizandra. As long as you're not pregnant uh, or breastfeeding, that's kind of a zone where you definitely don't want it, especially during pregnancy, because it can be used to actually begin delivery. It can be used to begin contractions. And it was traditionally used in that way, in fact. But in schizandra, you have these lignans, which are a very weak form of phytoestrogen. And the lignin byproducts are going to then go in and bind to the estrogen receptors found in the tissues throughout your body. And this is actually going to have the effect of shifting estrogen production to weaker forms of estrogen. Uh, and it's actually been found in research that these weaker forms of estrogen don't enhance things like cancer cell growth. So it's very cool from a, a women's health perspective there. But for men, the important thing here is that you're blocking up these estrogen uh, receptors with weak forms of estrogen effectively so that you don't have as much trouble with stronger forms of estrogen. Now, if you're in a situation of major estrogen dominance and you're trying to rectify that, okay, uh, there could be an argument possibly to be made for leaving schizandra for a little bit later on. But I honestly think in most all situations, uh, schizandra is a great thing to do. And I will look at it from one other direction, actually two. So one other thing I want to point out is that uh, these lignans, now, now they've not been studied for this in schizandra specifically, but similar lignans in flax have actually been found to inhibit aromatase. Now, a lot of supplements that guys will take to improve their hormone balance are called aromatase inhibitors. And the reason we want this is because there's a process that can happen in the body, in men and women, called aromatization, where good hormones get turned into bad hormones. They go over to the dark side. And that's something that you don't want. So in a way, these phytoestrogens are actually helping to limit the production of estrogen and the conversion of the good hormones into the bad hormones. Also, schizandra is a great herb for stress relief, uh, not just stopping you from stressing after you've already begun to stress, but also stopping you from stressing in the first place. It's a great um, emotional and, and, and nervous system adaptogen in that sense. And one of the greatest enemies to healthy testosterone levels and one of the greatest enemies to overall hormone health is chronic stress. So schizandra is also going to be really helping from that direction. So should men avoid schizandra? I absolutely don't think so. Uh, schizandra has been used with great success by both men and women going back thousands of years. And it, you know, if you needed any other reason to take it, it's really good for performance for both men and women in the bedroom. If you guys have tried schizandra before, let me know in the comments what your experience with it has been like. And while you're down there below the video, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It is so supportive of us when you do that. And we would love to be able to continue this journey and stay connected with you through our channel. So please don't leave before hitting that subscribe button. Have an amazing day, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time.